Hey folks, welcome or welcome back to a sign painter's journey. My name is Pat Nevy and I'm a sign man. We'll get to the video right off. Um, I think you're gonna like it. So please like and subscribe if you do like it and if you want to subscribe. It really boosts my confidence and it helps the channel. Anyway, let's get to it. I'll see you on the other side. I've got my brush loaded up. I uh, showed you how to palette earlier. Don't mind that string hanging from my finger. I like to cheat. I like to come in low and go high. I don't like wiping things off. So I've got my brush pretty well balanced in terms of um, the flood in the brush. You can see as I came up there, because I'm, I'm used to my type styles, I know that I can round that inside off few things I want to say about this project is um, this is for my side business where I do um, handyman work um, I do custom woodworking uh, crafts and I customize them with hand lettering but um, this panel is going to be going on my work trailer and I don't really have to worry about I guess quality would be a good word for it but it's more um, that I know that I'm only going to get four or five years out of it. So I wound up using 3 8 inch just regular construction exterior lumber so that it doesn't fall apart. It's got four coats of paint on it, sanded in between coats. But if you look near the F over there, you can see that it's very, um, very grainy. And um, that, that adds a challenge to everything. So um, I have to keep my, my brush a little bit more flooded than I would if I was painting on a flat surface. Um, I'm still a little sketchy when it comes to painting. You can see I'm using kind of a dry brush there and then I'm coming back and cheating it in trying to use the tip. I uh, didn't have enough left in the middle of the, the brush so I would have palleted it a little bit on the letter itself like I'm doing here. Um, I'm gonna start here uh, on the A. I have a, a load of brush, loaded brush and I palette it right there on the letter because I'm going to be painting it anyway. Uh, you can see I've got the chisel point coming practically vertical. It's a little bit down the stroke of the A, but I'm going ahead and topping it off on the right hand side there using all of the paint in the brush, letting the brush do the work. One of the things my dad always told me, let the tool do the work. So as I pull down, I'm cleaning up the edge, but as you see, I get to the end of the stroke and right there how I press down. That pushes the paint onto the surface itself, but then I can come back and pick it up with the tip of the brush. So I had just enough paint for myself, my confidence level, and um, my talent level, to go ahead and pull that left hand of that A stroke there. Now I grab some more. You can see in the tip there, there's a little bit more paint. Um, I flooded it a little bit more so I could get that in one stroke or attempt to. So now we're pulling down, and if you watch the brush here, it twists to get that point. I'm using the chisel. That This one is a little bit more of a lift than a twist. I, I tend to do that on, um, on the right side serifs. Here, again, I, I, I like to cheat. I like to come up high, start high, and then come back and take that off. Um, I knew I had enough here to get that point. Again, a vertical drop with the chisel point. Um, using the middle of the, the brush where the paint is loaded, and I'm pushing down. I probably should pallet here. There I go. And <clears throat> so now you can see I have more paint in the brush. I'm going to go ahead and finish that hook. Straight up, twist. Vertical, 
and I'm pulling towards me and twisting the brush. If you if you watch the brush, you can see how it moves when I'm pulling strokes, when I'm, I'm pulling a serif. Sometimes I'll twist the brush when I'm pulling a flat stroke just to get more paint on the edge. Here the brush twists just a, a bit because these are kind of small serifs, so we're not going too far. Got the chisel brush pulling across, twisting to get that point. Now I just push down to grab some more paint out of the middle of the brush so it comes to the tip. And then I go ahead and come down again. Look at that blue spot on the brush. See how it twists just a little bit? It pulls that, that chisel into that point. Uh, another point I want to make about this sign is um, I'm going to be outlining these letters afterwards. So it, I have a little bit of cheat space on my edges. I don't have to be perfect. Um, sorry about the blurriness and all that. This is one of my first videos, so we're going to be working on that. But bear with me. It, it does clear up later on. Here's where I kind of, it's more of a slide than a twist. You can see how I'm coming down. Um, picking up more paint from the middle of the brush to my tip. Um, I tend to work a little bit more dry than, than a more experienced sign painter would do. Um, it comes down to, I don't like wiping off my mistakes, and if I use a heavy brush, a heavy loaded brush, I tend to make more mistakes, more blobs, um, it pushes out. So I, I keep my brush brush relatively relatively light when it comes to being filled with paint um, but this is probably a half filled brush here and you can see I'm actually starting at above the top of the letter and pulling down and I'm actually cheating and going and doing the bottom stroke so I went to start my serif on the top there but I left the top line and went straight to the bottom line because I'm going to come back and take care of that top line once we get back to that all right, now we're doing the, the bottom stroke of the F, picking up some paint there, just enough to finish this tip. Now I'm gonna put my point in the corner there, lift up, and then come back into it. I made the point, so I, then I cheat back and I grab it. Here's a finish on the other side of the point. And it's kind of more, get it to a chisel, and in some cases it's a push rather than a twist. It depends on the amount of paint I have in the brush, the, the severity of the transition. If it was a tighter serif, like the inside of the A there on the left, there's a twist involved. Okay, nice heavy loaded brush. Uh, I'm gonna finish off the top of that F, but I palleted it on the T. I got the paint where I wanted it consistent on the tip of my brush, and this will be a twist here. So we went ahead and grabbed that. Now I'm sweeping in from the top right and you see that twist there to get that point. That's a big trick is that that twist. I'll be doing it here too. We're going to pull down with the brush at about a 45 but as it comes to that point the brush moves ever so slightly but it does twist. Lifting up with the chisel pushing the brush down to use the center of the brush where the paint is and also again using the tool as it was intended. We're coming across the top grabbing some more paint probably have a good bit of paint in here. Nope. Just enough to finish that F. So I probably just palleted and picked it up just to the edge of the paint. Moving the brush vertically towards the old stroke, the former stroke and running it up at the approximately 45 degree angle. I didn't like how that looked, so I came in and, the, and you'll see the twist. It's very subtle on these letters, but as we get into other letters, you'll see it more prominent. It's nice to have the dots on the, on the brush because you can easily see the twists and how the brush moves. So we put a nice load of, in the load of paint on there and because it's got the grain on it, I have to kind of do a push stroke push stroke to get the paint from the middle of the brush into the tip so that it it, it makes that transition from one it doesn't skip if I didn't push 
I would get the skips like you see on the right side of that letter. Now I, I put some more paint on the tip of the brush and you'll see me, that's a long guy, you'll see me pushing, it, it's very subtle but there's a little push and lift and push and lift as I'm going down there. Pulling some more off the middle of the brush, vertical, 45 up and cheating. See how I come above the line there, then I rolled the brush. That, there, there, to me, there's a little bit of a difference between rolling and twisting. Um, twisting is more something that I do with the tip of the brush, whereas rolling I would do more with the body of the brush. You'll see more of that coming up here in a little bit. Nice loaded brush coming down at the 45 using that chisel. Not really a twist on that, it's just a, a straight 45 chisel. Now I'm going to pull top right to bottom left. I'm going down on the 45 just cheating that in there a little bit. As I do it I'm going to twist. Watch the blue on the on the brush. Did you see how that went about what was that about 45 degrees? And we're starting on the M here. I didn't pick up too much paint. I wanted to start up in that top corner. Again I did that little um, I like to call it a slide move. I had my, my brush flat and um, I'm trying to pull this down in one stroke, struggling with it, trying to pick up some from the middle of the brush. It's just not working. So I gave up right about there, went ahead and loaded my brush up. Now I'm going to um, come back here and distribute the paint in my brush a little bit um, on the palette. And now I've got it pretty loaded. The tip has enough paint in it now where I, I have enough to pull it, but you see I'm kind of pushing and pulling as I come down and then I come down to that tip there. Again, it's still got enough paint in it and that's another slide move. It's, it's not really the twist, it's just getting that brush coming down at the 45 angle and then just kind of sliding it into the corner. Coming up from the bottom, cheating it, kind of overemphasizing my serif there. I don't really like how that came out. I was thinking about it when I was painting it. And I'm like, ah, oh, heck, <clears throat> I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be outlining it anyway. So we just went ahead and moved ahead. Again, I probably still have too too dry a brush here. Going back to palette, pick up some more paint, just enough to finish that left side. Coming down, the brush is gonna twist here. As I come to that point, I, I, I got a feeling those cracks there. It's pain, but it comes to the point, just kind of cheating that in again. That's the word I use is cheating it in. We got a new angle here, a little bit better. The video does that a lot, and it's kind of a pain, but like I say, it's my first video, so bear with me. Uh, sorry to get that part of the stroke, but you can see how much paint I have in that brush right now. And look at that nice crisp line it gives me. Now I'm pulling across and just giving it the slightest twist. You can see just the, the tip of the brush goes from horizontal, or the, the stroke is horizontal, and then it just kind of pulls. I lifted one side, I guess is a better term for it. Again, another nice heavy brush here coming down, uh, pushing down to get some more from the center of the brush back to my tip. Um, it dried out on me, so I grabbed that. You get a little hump there that I'm taking out. Now here's a twist coming up here. As I come down, I'm going to be twisting that brush to that point. And a good thing about studying letter styles is I know what I can get away with. I don't really like the way that right side of that bottom stroke of the M kind of has that little bit of a hook on it. So I'm going to come back here in a, in a minute or so and fix that. But you'll see I'm going to extend the bottom point of that M. And I know from experience that that will lend itself to actually a more interesting letter. Um, but we'll get to that here in a second. So again, I, I palette it out to um, get it. Again, really just filling things in here. I know I'm gonna come back and it's that rough, rough surface. So one good thing is it's not stucco and <laughs> stucco can be a real pain. That's a slide and a twist. I'm making up my own terminology. You can take it as it goes. That was a roll. 
once I learn how to run things back, I'll, I can do that again. But if, you, if you, I'm twisting the brush, but I'm using more of the center of the brush, the second, the first third of the brush rather than just the tip. All right, I'm pulled up and I'm kind of coming in a, a little semicircle up and down. And again, the outline will take care of a lot of that. Here's where I fix the, the bottom of the M. It's got that jaggedy part and that little hook that it kind of hooks off to the to the left there. So I'm going to extend that point even though I'm going outside my lines. It's fine. <clears throat> and coming up here, you'll see that I do it on the A as well. Again, that just lends itself to uniqueness. That's the great thing about hand painting is it's your style. There's that wobbly what's going on is i have my tripod set on the bench that i'm using and every time i press against it the camera moves so nice loaded brush um pulling that in one stroke i love to be able to do that that takes some practice wah wah pulling from the middle of the brush and i get to finish that stroke off and just a little again a slide more than a twist it's it's more of a uh, the long guys are out there smoking. Uh, a cross and a roll. And then at the end, it's a, it's a twist. It's hard to describe in real time like this. Um, when you're doing it and when you get used to it, it's second nature. This is going to be what we'll call a slide. We've got the 45 just pulling down, no twist. Then as we go, we're twisting. Look at that brush spin around. You can see it on the ferrule. I keep calling it the the brush, but what I mean is um, the paint marks on the on the ferrule. And that's a push instead of a slide. So I use the brush shape to come up, up into that crescent shape. Now again, the chisel and a right hand slide with that. Tip, tip. Again, I'm going to be outlining this. I kind of like to get as crisp as I can, but um, sometimes I, I could have done this a lot faster, but I wanted to show you guys how I would do it if I wasn't going to be outlining it. But I'm going to be um, extending the top of this A too. Um, you can see how as it comes up the left hand side of the left stroke, it's got that little kind of crook in it right there. So I'm going to pull that uh, right side first. And I'm going to roll it here. Watch the roll into the center of the brush. Making the brush take the shape of the stroke that I want to do. As I come down, I'm sliding, but then twisting. Again, with these little serifs, it's a little bit harder to see. When we get out to um, like a Clarendon or, or more of your times or something, we'll see more of, of the twist of the brush. Again, my, my bottom strokes aren't that great here. I'm going to cheat this and, and push it down a little bit and hook it and twist there. So that was fun. I really enjoy painting like this. It, um, on the timer here, it's 25, 26 minutes it took me to do all of that. So it's not really that, that long. The setup and the practice is where it gets time consuming. But you don't learn how to play the violin the first day you pick it up. So, you know, we're going to be getting into that. I'm going to do uh, more basic layouts, designs, brush choice, paint choice, uh, basic stuff that I think is essential if you want to become a serious sign painter. Here's a nice, bro nice stroke. I'm actually doing the right hand side there. I'll be coming back and um, pulling out the left. See how I'm kind of has it's pushing. I'm pushing the brush a little bit to the left. It's it's very subtle, but the paint is on the left edge of the brush there. And again, coming in with the slide, and this is going to be a push with a twist. Very subtle twist at the end. And I'm coming up and across. And again, the, the bottom of the A, 
stroke doesn't match the end stroke, but I know when I outline, I'm going to be, th that's all going to be one stroke coming right across, so I can take care of that then. This is a roll. See how I rolled the center part of the brush into that point, and that's, a, that's actually a push. I just, the paint in the brush just told me to do it that way. That's a tip slide roll. I'm rolling the right hand side of that brush to get the paint from the center over to the right. I'm doing just the opposite there. Didn't have enough paint, palleting it out. I use terps to thin. Um, my dad always used turpentine, and um, I just love the smell of turpentine. I don't know. It brings me back to my childhood with my elbow on my dad's bench watching him when I was 10 years old for hours on end nice little point there at the bottom of the end um, good heavy brush here I think I pull this in one stroke uh, that's because as I as I moved along I, I got more confidence as I was going you'll see a nice twist here there's a twist to a point and that's fun you can get a little hook there but I'll probably come back and do that take care of that I'm not sure if I did or not but we'll see down and roll into that. So I, it's you're twisting the the handle of the brush, but I feel that it's more of a roll than an actual twist because I'm coming. See the the roll there. I'm I'm using up a higher part of the brush rather than just the tip, and then I let off and bring bring the tip up. Here's where I clean that up twist S's are fun one of the hardest letters to to hand draw but you can see there I was showing you I have a nice heavy load of paint in that brush and you'll watch this sweet little stroke here because I've got as I move along I gain more confidence even though I've been doing it quite a while um, shoot that's half a letter right there Still have a bunch of paint in the brush. Going to do the inside, top of the hump, coming right around. That, folks, is how it's supposed to be done. Not all the cheating. A uh, little lighter weight in the brush. You can see that from the skipping. Still trying to cheat this. Pull up and down. Sweeten out that bottom. A point I want to make too is um, you'll see these uh, the downstroke on the N is a certain weight. On certain letter, certain letter styles, you'll see me do it here on the S. I didn't like the thickness. If you can see where it's sketched out, the black lines, it's about, if you really looked at it, it's about the same thickness as the stroke on the N. But in reality, visually, that should be a little bit thicker. So I'm bringing it down over the line, and then I'm using the middle of the brush to get some more paint in there. But I st still see that that is not a thick enough stroke. So I come back in, and I'm pushing and rolling and spinning the brush all at the same time. That just comes with practice. There's nothing I can teach you that... I can teach you over the computer. So I picked up some more paint in the tip of the brush. We'll do that on the palette rather than um, loading up a full brush if I just have to fix a certain area or something. Nice, sweet, soft arc there and a push into the corner. Um, again, it's not even a twist. It's just a kind of a slide down into the corner. Now. I'm going to be a little bit high here, so I'm going to cheat the top of the S and stretch it just a bit and then bring it down. It's a little bastardized, but my dad always said you got to know what it's not always what you know, it's what you know you can get away with. But as you'll see, it turns out fine, and 900 people out of 899 are never going to notice that. This is a lift, push, a twist and then a twist into the corner okay thanks for making it this far um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed lettering it 
it takes a lot more time vid uh, editing the video than it does to actually paint, do the painting. So um, bear with me and um, like and subscribe. It encourages me. Give me some comments. Let me know what you think about this video, what you like, what you don't like, um, what you might like to see in the future. That would really help me out. Um, the next video I'm putting out is going to be the outline of this, uh, of the craftsmanship. It's uh, sort of the same quality with the wah-wah going on, but um, it's a good start. I want to get things up there and, and see how we feel things out. Um, and then after that, I'm going to put together the Barry by the Bay sign. There were a bunch of steps involved in that, and um, it's really what I kind of wanted the channel to focus on was the production and how to get signs from beginning to end. So. I hope you're enjoying it so far. I'm doing my best, you know, with what I've got, and um, I'll just keep putting them out there. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Shoot, 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 shoot.